Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image.com. Sometimes after you've bought your camera, maybe came with a kit lens, and you're looking at, you know, upgrading that lens. Maybe you want a longer zoom, more range. Uh, maybe you want a faster zoom. Sometimes it's hard to decide between especially those two options. Do you want a longer zoom range and then sacrifice the speed or something faster, something what we would traditionally have called more professional? Uh, we have a viewer writing in with exactly that dilemma. This email came in from uh, Suvik. I hope I'm saying that right. And the headline is, I can't decide between a Sigma 1750 and a Canon 18 to 135. Hello, Matt. I've been watching your videos for quite some time. They are great and very informative. I was wondering if you could help me with something. I want an all-around zoom lens to add to my collection of lenses. I have a Canon 50 F1.8, a 24 2.8, along with the kit lens, um, the standard 18 to 55 STM. I can't decide between the Sigma 17 to 50 f2.8 or the Canon 18 to 135, both being priced similarly in my country, India. Uh, while the Canon lens has more zoom range, the Sigma has a constant aperture of f2.8. Please give some advice. Thanks in advance. Well, thanks for your question. And you've kind of nailed the, the, the differences right there. We're, we're, we're basically, that's it. We're looking at uh, wider zoom range versus constant aperture better light gathering ability, ability to shoot at a faster speed aperture, um, not just light gathering ability too, that the F2.8 is going to give you a little bit more background separation, shallower depth of field. So you want to bear that in mind. Um, sometimes with that increased zoom range, you are going to lose image quality uh, as far as could be whether it's at the edges or at a certain area, it gets soft in the center. Oftentimes when you see a, a longer range zoom, some image quality is sacrificed to get that greater range. So in general, I would say that between the Sigma 17 to 50 and the fact that it is, it's like more of a pro f2.8 constant aperture lens, probably throughout the range, you're going to have a little bit better image quality than the Canon 18 to 135 throughout the range. Now, the 18 to 135 is also an STM lens, and it, it is still a pretty decent performer. It's got decent image quality throughout the range, but the fact that it's an STM lens it's going to be better if you want to do video, um, almost guaranteed, than if you're using the Sigma 17 to 50 f2.8. So that's something to be aware of, um, but it does have the variable aperture. So, you know, uh, the Sigma 17 to 50 is going to give you 2.8 throughout that 17 to 50 range. The 18 to 135, you're going to be up to 5.6 by the end of the range. And actually, the fastest you're going to get is 3.5. It's a 3.5 to 5.6 lens. So for me, when I was shooting uh, weddings, and portraits and things. The Sigma 17 to 50 f2.8 OS was one of my go-to lenses. It was basically the, was stuck on one of my bodies almost all the time. I could pretty much shoot an event with that lens alone and not worry about it. I liked to have a 50 f1.8 or an 85 f1.8 and sometimes a 70 to 200 2.8 for a little more reach sometimes, but I still could comfortably shoot an entire event with a 1750 f2.8. I like the faster aperture. It gives you better light gathering ability, especially with weddings. Um, you can get into the evening and still be able to shoot better, better autofocus, better light gathering ability. Also, the 2.8 at the 50 end gives you much better uh, depth of field control, shallower depth of field, a bit of a, more separation from your background than you would get on a variable aperture lens like the 18 to 135. That being said, if you're not doing weddings or events or whatnot, um, the 18 to 135 is probably a better walk around lens, probably a better general lens, a travel lens. If you're out on a photo walk, if you're just shoot out shooting street photography, if you're shooting um, travel, if you're on a trip, I would say I would rather probably have the 18 to 135 at that point. So what it really comes down to here is what are your shooting requirements? What do you shoot mostly? Because if you're mostly shooting weddings or events, then I would say get the Sigma 17 to 50 f2.8. If you're mostly out shooting travel and photo walks and things like that, then probably I would lean at that point to the 18 to 135 because I'd want the expanded range and I probably don't need the F2.8 aperture as much. So that's the way I would look at it um, and, and how to decide. You really need to narrow down what you want to shoot because we're really looking at a difference here of zoom range versus speed. And if what you are shooting needs the speed, well, there's your answer. But if what you're shooting would benefit more from the range than the speed, then there's your answer too. What do you guys think? In general, um, which way would you go? But what do you shoot as well? Let us know in the comments below. What are you shooting? And then does that dictate? And is there something you want to add here? Is there something I didn't point out as far as how to make this decision? I think it really does come down to range versus speed. Um, but if you want to add something, feel free. 
What are you shooting with? Are you a fan of the Sigma 17-50 f2.8 or another constant aperture zoom? Or do you like to shoot with more of a longer range like the 18-135 to or even an 18-200? to Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys have to say? Let's help out our viewer. It's always good to get our answers rounded out by other shooters' experiences. Helps our viewers uh, when they write in and they make their decisions because they're getting uh, you know some advice from multiple uh, people. Thanks for your question. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.